it's very aggravating because it's causing a lot of distance between me and, and a lot of my family. It's causing a lot of distance between me and a lot of my friends, people who I'm really close to. And it's very frustrating because all I want is for people to, to be happy. You can't either. Ah, <sighs> I did it! I did it! That's a cute outfit you got there. Thanks, I put it together myself, so. No, I'm not making fun of your oh. outfit. I don't not really. Here's the status of what's going on right now. I've been up since 2.30 a.m. It is now 6, what, 6.58, something like that, almost 7 o'clock. The sunrise is at 7.17, so we're rushing to try to catch the sunrise. I don't know what's going on with my sleep, but I just haven't been sleeping well you at all. You went to bed at what time, 10? No, I went to, no, I went to oh. sleep at about 11, oh. and I woke up at 2.30, and I've just been up ever since. And this is how he woke me up. This is how he woke me up. I was so excited when wow. she woke up. And I, I have this, I don't know, I just have a lot of energy right now for some reason. So, you'll stay doing lots of coffee today. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're rushing to catch the sunrise. It looks like the sun is already risen though. I just missed the cruise ship. I missed, oh, oh man, we missed the... Well, if you hurry up, you can go still catch Okay, thanks. Like, I think we're walking for no reason now. Why is she carrying her dog? <laughs> She's like, take that camera off of me. Look, this is the tail of the cruise ship. <laughs> There's a carnival cruise ship right there. Oh yeah, they are listening to Bob Marley. She out here getting it, cuz. She out here getting it. Go, go, go. Why didn't you say he's getting it? He's getting it too, though. Go, 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 go. So this uh, sunrise trip was a failed mission. It's no, it's a failed mission. Apparently, the sun rises on the other side of of, of our neighborhood, so we yeah, don't witness any sun sunrise. We can see sunsets, but there's no sunrises over here. In other news, the wine fest is this weekend. This is where the wine festivities will be. You see the tents over there. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna be super lit tomorrow. I don't know if you guys watched the vlog from yesterday. No, I didn't post a vlog yesterday. But the day before yesterday, I don't know if you guys know. But I'm super passionate about a few things, right? <laughs> God, fitness, my family, cars, and dogs. Dogs have been one of my passions since I was a little kid. But I, like, we're not in a place right now where we can get a dog. And I really feel like the, us not having, having a dog is leaving a void in my life. Like, I just love dogs. And it's times where I just need a dog's love in my life to kind of like decompress me a little bit. Cause I'm always, no, nah, I don't want to say I'm always stressed, but they kind of just bring a calm, an uh, inner peace to you. Instantly we smile, instantly. Yeah, and we've been stalking people's dogs in our neighborhoods. <laughs> like weird ass. But anyway, so. I pet your dog. I remember that one of my good friends from college lives in my neighborhood and he has a dog. So I text him, I'm like, bro, this may sound weird, but I have a, a very unique request. Cammie and I want to be your dog's aunt and uncle. This should sound corny as hell, but this is, this is just what happened. And he's like, yeah, of course. So now we officially have a dog nephew. A dog, a dog nephew. A dog nephew. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't going to go there. So you guys are going to meet our, do our dog few today. Dog few. Yo, we're such cornballs. I forgot to mention one thing when I was talking about my passions, real estate. I've been watching them build this place. These floor to ceiling windows, though? You get it? So she's upstairs rushing me out the house because she's so excited. I'm so excited, too. We're going to pick up Cy. You guys are going to meet our... He's a big boy. Our nephew. He's, He's our... A Big old thick we, thing. We got a we got a nephew. 
And we're gonna go take him and get a bath because he was a little stinky, stinky. He loves me. He loves you? Yes. How do you know that? Right when we walked in, who'd he go to? Me. Whatever. And he lives a few blocks from us, but we're Look, gonna I go. put, um. Oh yeah, so she prepared the back seat. I'm not, I'm not letting Yo, y'all don't understand how excited we are to have a dog in our life again. What's up, Sai? What's up, Sai? You ready to go? So we drive past this place at least twice a week and it's always packed and we never know why. So we decided to come check it out. It's a, it, it says it's a hot dog place. What is it? What kind of? Because last time I saw it, they had donuts it's, in the window. It's called a little dog diner. So we're about to go check it out. The first thing that the that the server says to us is we have vodka. I don't want vodka. I do want vodka, but I'm not gonna have any vodka. So I, I woke up at 2.30 a.m. Normally when I don't get sleep, my appetite is out of control, like out of control. So that's just something I had to learn the hard way. I actually learned that, remember that bit when we was preparing for the show and I found myself face deep in a pizza? Yeah, cause I wasn't sleeping. So if you find yourself with an abnormal high appetite. If your appetite is out of control, make sure it's not your sleep. So now I'm about to have a Belgian waffle and a, a bacon and avocado omelet. And my man's size in the cut. Say hi, Sai. <laughs> that was such not like... Oh my goodness, it's a sip of water for the big puppy. Pumper, you got some ice water. Stay Look side. at your brother, son. Stay side. How is that? Yeah, this is just English. Yeah, he's big. Each he's tall. He's really big for an English. All right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. It was about to go down. Welcome to your second home, brother. So I didn't get much sleep last night and I was fighting mad hard. Like I was trying not to crash, but I ended up crashing on the couch. I'm trying to fix my sleeping pattern. If you've ever dealt with any kind of like insomnia or any type of sleeping issues, comment below, let me know what you did to kind of fix it because this is really like starting to get in the way. Like I wasn't able to get as much work done today because I was like groggy all day. Like this shit is the worst. So I'm about to go bring Sai back, so you'll be able to meet Ja. Oh yeah, I gotta go check Brandon. So he's trying to break the record for the, uh, I think he has to do a 26 hour bike ride, and he's doing it in the mall. So we gonna go check him out real quick, that's my man. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Your dad. What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? What's up, man? Give me a hug. 
Give me a hug. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> So I'm at MacArthur Mall. My man Brandon is attempting to break a Guinness World Book of Records of riding on a bike for 26 hours. I have no clue how he's gonna do it. He got a group of people with him. The people from Guinness World Book of Records are here. I'm excited about this. I'm gonna keep you guys posted because I'm damn sure not about to sit here and watch him for more than the next five minutes. <laughs> So I just had a really interesting conversation with Ja, and I was explaining to him my frustration because we both have similar backgrounds, me, he and I. I wasn't taught how to become financially independent. I wasn't taught how to become the best version of me. Like I was raised in a very toxic environment. And right now, one of my biggest obsessions is personal development and personal growth. And I'm finally at a place in my life where I'm happy and I try my heart is to share this with people. Like I want the same thing. I want my best friends, my family, the strangers in the street to experience how it feels to truly like live a life of passion and purpose and to really be on the path to financial freedom. But when I try to give people the advice or when I try to tell them you know, what I'm doing to achieve this level of like fulfillment in my life, I get a lot of backlash from people who just don't get it. And it's very, it's very aggravating because it's causing a lot of distance between me and, and a lot of my family. It's causing a lot of distance between me and a lot of my friends, people who I'm really close to. And it's very frustrating because all I want is for people to, to be happy. And I wanna help them as much as I can but I can only do but so much. And I gotta stop allowing it to frustrate me. But like one of my biggest fears is that I'll build this big you know, legacy and, be and build this big brand and become really successful financially and career-wise or whatever the case may be. And then it'll just be me and Cammy by ourselves. And I don't want that. Like I don't wanna be the only person living my dreams. I don't, like I don't want that. And I'm trying my hardest to bring as many people with me as I can, but I guess I gotta grow in that, in that regard. Like I have to grow into a more higher level of understanding of how this process works when it comes to dealing with people while you're personally growing. I don't wanna outgrow people, but it seems, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna take my ass home. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow.